While Israel fights in Gaza, it's striving to prevent its northern border from erupting. But the north isn't the only potential new front that is simmering. Violence in the West Bank has spiked since Hamas's October 7th assault. Eight Palestinians killed in an overnight raid by the Israeli military in Tul Karim were claimed by the Hamas terror group. Israeli troops entering the West Bank city on an arrest operation were confronted with live fire and explosives. Palestinian medics said that three of the killed were struck by a drone. IDF bulldozers tore up roads inside the town to mitigate against improvised explosive devices. In the second raid into Tul Karim in a week, similar raids and clashes have taken place elsewhere in the West Bank, with an operation into Janine last week sparking a firefight and drone strike. 176 Palestinians have been killed in confrontations with the IDF since the beginning of October, according to the UN Commissioner for Human Rights. Attacks by Palestinians have continued, with one Israeli reserve soldier killed in the West Bank. And friction between Palestinians and Israelis living in the West Bank is soaring, with several Palestinians killed by settlers since the outbreak of war. With the IDF focused on Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in the north, its resources are not limitless. But if the West Bank violence escalates, this could impact Israel's wider war effort.